Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over this 2021 Chevy Trail Boss LT, but I would like to give a special thanks to Bowman Chevrolet for providing with the Chevy Silverado. If you're in the market for a Chevy, you can come check out Bowman Chevrolet and Axe for Lazaro. He'll get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's start off underneath the hood here of the Chevy Trail Boss. Once I open up the hood here, it does reveal Chevy's 5.3 liter small block V8. This makes 355 horsepower, 383 pound feet of torque is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission as the trail boss sits it weighs 5100 pounds and chevy says you can tow 9300 pounds with a payload of 1700 pounds and fuel economy is rated at 16 in the city 21 on the highway and 18 combined but shedding the hood here of the chevy silverado this is painted in this white exterior color i do like the gloss black uh, that you get here in the front fascia this is blacked out chevy bow tie here in the front fascia there's a z71 badge looking at these headlights here they're a multi-reflector with an automatic low and high beam with this led daytime run light this also has carbon fiber here in the housing here looking here there's going to be an incandescent turn signal there's this opening here to put an air curtain over the wheels and brakes there's front parking sensors you also get uh, led fault lights here but the red recovery hook so if you were to get stuck off road somebody can pull you out and chevy says you do get 10 0.9 inches of ground clearance it does have a two inch lift from the factory this uses rancho shocks but overall i want you guys to comment down below in the comment section let me know what you guys think about the silverado i think the silverado is one of the most aggressive looking pickup trucks here on the market looking at the side profile here let's start out with these tires and wheels here these are a 275 65 goodyear wrangler tire they're wrapped in this 18 inch renaissance i do like the gloss black finish here this also has fixed running boards. You can delete those if you don't want the running boards. The wheelbase for the Silverado is at 147.4 inches with an overall length of 231.7. There's the Z71 batch here on the side fender. This is LED marker here. So if you're off road and there's a dark area, you can turn the spotlights on in the cabin here. Making our way to the rear here, but looking at the bed first, this is a five and a half foot bed. That's the Trail Boss sticker there. But I'm gonna show you guys how the multi uh, flex tailgate works. This does open in six different ways. Looking at the rear, let's start off with these tail lights here. They're full LED, turn signal, reverse light, and brake light. There's some badging back here, which is the Silverado badge, the blacked out Chevy bow tie, and also the LT badge. Looking down here, there's rear parking sensors. There's your seven and four pin connector. And like I mentioned, Chevy says you can tow 9,300 pounds. There's dual tip exhaust, and that 5.3 liter V8 sounds really good. And to access the bed, Chevy has increased the uh, bed step here. So if you guys wanted to access the bed, you can do so uh, via this uh, side step there. Like I mentioned, this does have the multi-flex tailgate. GMC calls it the multi-function tailgate. So it does open in six different ways. But press, buff, pressing both of these buttons here, the tailgate will fall down and this area flops down right here. And opening, uh, pushing that down, this does open as a floor here. And Chevy does give you this handle here so you can get into the bed a little easy. If you wanted to use this handle here, which I think is a nice feature, this offers a spray in bed. And like I mentioned, this is a five and a half foot bed. There's tie down hooks here. There's a charging uh, outlet here. So you guys have work tools and you want to use them. You can do so via this plug here. There's LED lights. But to get out of the bed here, like I mentioned, there's this handle and there's a step here. Once you get down, you can fold the handle back in, which is pretty simple. Fold this in here and lifting the tailgate up press this top button here and fold this area down. You can use this area here as a work table or if you're out on lunch at the work site, you can do, use that as well. Folding this up here, if you had longer items, you don't want them to basically follow the truck. You have this area up here, folding this down, folding that back up, pressing this here. This opens as a normal uh, tailgate. We can also lift this up once again. So like I mentioned, if you guys had longer items and whatnot, you can keep them from flying out of the truck because this little area here stops them. Folding that down and lifting this back up. Like I mentioned, six different ways you can configure this tailgate. Like I mentioned, GMC calls it the multi-function tailgate and Chevy calls it the multi-flex tailgate, which I do like the Chevy name a little bit better, but let's hop into the interior of the Chevy Trail Boss. Sitting inside the interior of the Chevy Trail Boss LT, looking at this interior, this interior looks nice to me. And of course, GM knows that the Silverado does need an emergency refresh here by shutting the door here of the Silverado. To start up the Silverado, put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button down here. 
if you guys heard that little chime that's letting you know that the key fob is still in the vehicle here but looking at the door panel material is going to be a soft touch material there's this chrome accented door handle your lock controls are here looking here there's a bunch of buttons here switch it over to the left this does have a tow haul mode over to the right there's a sport and off-road mode this does have the retro shocks to give this thing 10.9 inches of ground clearance so this does have more ground clearance compared to a standard Silverado this is for the four-wheel drive system there's an auto four high two high and a four low the fault light controls the, uh, there looking here there's the headlight controls here electronic parking brake it is automatic up automatic down only for the driver uh, window not for the rest of the windows down here is going to be additional storage and cup holder this does have the Bose audio sound system which is an eight speaker which sounds pretty good this is a manual tilt telescoping wheel it does offer a good amount of range and adjustability looking at the steering wheel controls this does have a cruise control here there's a heated steering wheel function i like the biked out chevy bow tie here voice commands you can also cycle through this lcd display down here by using this little rotary uh, tab there there's the turn signals and one wiper stock there and it does have a good old column shifter here so if you guys like column shifters you guys should come pick up a 2021 silverado Putting the Silverado into reverse here does reveal a backup camera, nice clean resolution. This also has a trailer icon, so if you guys are trying to hitch up a trailer, you can definitely do so. You can also shift your own gears here via these controls there. Putting it back into park. Looking at the upper part of the dashboard material, so you're gonna be a soft touch material. There's some stitching here, a small compartment for storage. This doesn't have the rear view camera mirror. There's gonna be an LED light start the cabin here three car garage remote there on star and sos button you can also open up the uh rear glass back there by using this control here uh, to open it up and chevy does not offer a panoramic sunroof on the silverado just yet but this is missing a sunroof here looking here this does offer apple carplay and android auto you can also uh, use it as wireless i have my usb uh usb c connected here and it does connect the apple carplay and android auto just fine looking here that's the uh, volume and tune knob here there's a sync track clicking the home icon here it does take you to the chevy interface here you can also access the camera via the camera icon there this does have a dual climate control there's three level heated seats here there's no cool seats that you can get on the trail boss but there's a bunch of buttons here for the parking sensors automatic start stop you can also let down the tailgate the hazard button stability control power outlet hill descent control lifting this up it does reveal a household outlet here there's a 12 volt a usb and a usb c your trailer brake control here over here is going to be a slight amount of storage there's going to be two cup holders here i'm sure you guys the key fob this is not the uh, newer key fob that you get on a chevy tahoe or suburban there's a lock unlock remote start you can also let down the tailgate and there's a panic button here the key does feel nice and sturdy in my hands there's a yellow chevy bow tie here in the back the center console is going to be nice and padded you can put your phone here if you have a smaller phone looking at the center console here it does reveal a lot of storage in here there's a usb c a usb port an aux port looking at the glove compartments here there's two it does have a shallow amount of storage here this one does offer a lot of more storage compared to the top uh, shelf here Looking at the seats here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like the way that they're filled. It's gonna be two cup holders here. But overall, the Trail Boss does have a nice interior. And like I mentioned, GM does know that the Silverado does need an emergency refresh for the interior. So get into the back seat here of the Chevy Trail Boss. Like I mentioned from the outside scene, Chevy does give you these fixed running boards. If you guys don't want the fixed running boards, you can delete those. But there's this grab handle here with the running boards. But getting back here, it does help short people get into this big old pickup truck. Shutting the door here, the door sounds nice and solid. The materials are carried over from the front to the rear. There's two mount pockets back here for storage. There's two cup holders here. There's your own set of rear air vents. That's a USB-C, a USB port. There's a 12 volt. The floor back here is nice and flat. You can sit three people across and Chevy says you get 43.4 inches of leg room. If you guys are looking for a lot of leg room, you have to check out the other competitor, which is the Ram 1500. It offers 45 into the legroom above me there's no panoramic sunroof chevy does not offer the panel sunroof here on this generation of silverado but there is led lights throughout the cabin pulling this armrest down here it does reveal two cup holders with a nice area to rest your elbows but overall the silverado does have a spacious back seat so start off in the 2021 chevy trail boss lt this has the uh, multi-flex tailgate it, it opens in six different ways like i showed you guys from the outside scene which i think is really good uh gmc was gmc offered this first on the uh, gmc sierra what they call it the, the multi-function tailgate like i mentioned it opens in six different ways so you can basically sit 
on the tailgate or you can have it kind of like a step to get inside the bed. Uh, visibility out of the Silverado here is really good. Uh, so you also have these big side mirrors here. This does have blind spot monitoring with like departure warning. So Chevy does keep you safe on uh, long road trips here. The seats in here, they're very supportive. They're comfortable. This has the 5.3 liter V8. It makes 355 horsepower and 383 pounds feet of torque. It's got a 10 speed automatic transmission. But the ride quality is really good. This also has a two inch lift from the manufacturer. This uses the Rancho shocks. So this thing is capable of going off-road. This also has a rear locker, but you can't physically lock it from here. Uh, since it uses like a computer system in a sense, it will basically lock the rear uh, differential. Which most of the other competitors, they give you a physical knob to lock the center diff and rear diff, if anything. Uh, I do hear a little bit of the tires uh, coming inside the cabin here because they're mainly for off-road use. There's a good year uh, all-terrain tire for off-road uh, use, but the ride quality here is really good. You can't get uh, cool seats on the trail boss. You have to go for a, maybe a higher trim level in order to get the cool seats. But the steering field in here is very playful. You can feel what the front tires are doing. This also offers skid plate, of course, because this is a trail boss, so you want to have the underbody uh, protected as much as possible. just sounds so good and GM they just announced that they're gonna have a full electric uh, Silverado so basically it's gonna be a, a electric pickup truck so now they're competing in that segment with uh, Ford and also Ram so now GM is basically ready to introduce a full electric uh, Silverado um, I, don't, I don't have any specs or anything about uh, how it's gonna look or what's the range on that truck but um, this truck does ride pretty good great visibility the seats are here for comfortable I wish I could take the truck off-road to show you guys what is really capable. Uh, this does have 10.9 inches of ground clearance, so you do get really good ground clearance compared to a normal Silverado. Like I mentioned, this does have a two-inch lift from the factory, so it uses the Rancho shocks. I know the GM, they're gonna be offering a refresh or redesign uh, for the 2022 model for the Silverado. So basically, they're gonna change the interior. Uh, some people are saying that it might have the same interior as the uh, Suburban and the uh, Tahoe. I kind of have similar to those interiors there, but I'm not too sure. You have to wait and see. Maybe they might offer a 13 inch display, might, just like on the uh, GMC Hummer, they offer a 13.1 inch display. So who knows, they might just offer that, and that's gonna be best in class when it comes to the screen size. But this eight inch display is very functional. You can basically connect your phone very easily. GM doesn't make it uh, hard for you to do, but the 5.3 liter here, good and this does have 10 gears to go through very responsive uh, let's put into a support mode here they give you this little rotary knob here and i don't have no complaints good old v8 small block of course and gm's been using this uh, power train for the longest a lot of people give it crap but the 5.3 liter is really good so after spending time with the 2021 chevy trail boss lt starting price here for the trail boss is at $51,100 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Trail Boss tickets for $57,150. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video.